Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dominic Tasconi, Thread Rolling Application Specialist at LMT Tools USA. This is the third installment of our Axial EvoLine training video series focused on mounting and programming. Today we will discuss how to install an Axial EvoLine rolling head and write a thread rolling CNC program. Axial EvoLine rolling heads are mounted to an exchangeable shank. The most common interface is a round shank. Typically round shanks are mounted in OD turret blocks, collets, sleeves, or tool posts. The center line of a rolling head is determined by the position of its shank. Alignment is key in maintaining good tool life and process security. A good way to establish concentricity is through the use of a precision test bar and an indicator. Sweeping around the bar should yield concentricity less than seven thousandths of total indicated runout at the front and back of the bar. Tracking along the bar from front to back is also important to ensure straightness. In this demonstration, a coaxial indicator simplifies the process of sweeping the bar. In this demonstration, a standard dial indicator is used to measure concentricity. Measuring tool length is necessary for safety and proper function of this tool. It is important to give this tool plenty of space while moving around the workspace. Typically two to three times the clutch gap is a reasonable distance for safety clearance. Tool length should not be used to achieve thread length. Instead, use the cycle depth to modify thread length. In this demonstration, the tool's length is measured using a probe to touch the face of the rolling head. This slide verbalizes much of the programming considerations. Initial conditions are established at the beginning of the program. This includes things like tool number, work offset, feed rate, surface speed control, spindle direction, and coolant commands. Generally, the spindle direction is M03, except in left-handed applications where M04 is required. Feed rate is always selected to be 1 to 3% less than the pitch of the thread. This allows the tool to work the material at its own pace, preventing wear, and ensuring success. Spindle speed is chosen from catalog pages 418 through 421. Once the tool is fed to its final depth, a one second dwell is required to open the clutch. Once open, the tool can be retracted and reset. This is a sample program written for half inch 20 UNF threads. The first three lines establish initial conditions, including tool number, offset, feed rate units, constant surface speed off, clockwise spindle start, and coolant on. Next line is the rapid approach move, which brings the tool to the center line and one inch from the face of the workpiece. Then the thread rolling line, where the tool is fed 2% slower than the pitch to a depth of two inches. Once the cycle depth is reached, a one second dwell is used to open the rolling head. Once the head is open, the tool is retracted the spindle is stopped, and the program ends. This video shows a two inch long, half inch 20 UNF thread being rolled with an F2 axial EvoLine system. This concludes the third installment of this video series. You should now be equipped to make your first parts and be ready to begin the fine adjustment process. We will discuss tolerancing and fine adjustment in the next video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.